The game of basketball, more specifically the NBA as a league in general, has evolved over time, that's obvious. From the days of not having a shot clock, no three seconds in the key, big men dominating and controlling the overall offense, to adding the three-point line, to where three-pointers were rarely taken back in the day, to now that they have become a focal point of a team's offense. And the traditional center that every team had to have back in the day is no longer as relevant. Floor spacing, outside shooting is king. But aside from the overall mechanics, rule changes, systems for how the game is played, the culture and discourse around the NBA has changed drastically, primarily due to NBA fandom increasing on a more global scale, and of course social media which enables anyone and everyone to talk about the game, debate, give their takes, and even create content around the NBA. But is this good for the NBA? Has the league changed for the better or for worse? If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing as it does help out the channel greatly. Being a newly created channel, about 90% of you are not subscribed, so do me a favor and hit that sub button. And in return, I'll be sure to put out more NBA content like this all season long. Now, this question all stemmed from a recent interview Damian Lillard appeared on as a guest on the JJ Reddick podcast, The Old Man and the Three. I'll leave a link to the podcast in case you're interested, as in my humble opinion, it's one of the better ones out there. But in that interview, Damian Lillard was sharing his thoughts on his time in the league and how the NBA has changed from when he was first drafted back in 2012 to now, and how a lot of what has changed around the league has actually been bad for the NBA, referencing how we've gotten to this point in the league where there isn't as much focus on players playing for the love of the game, the journey they go through as NBA players, the grind, what defines success, the focus is all on winning rings, the ring culture of if you're a superstar and you don't win a ring. All of your success that you had on the court, whether it be regular season and playoffs, doesn't matter. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but how the culture around the NBA has shifted to a point where none of what happens outside of winning a championship matters. How there is so much focus on the biggest awards like winning the MVP, Finals MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, etc. Players building a resume that it is possible that we have lost sight of the real reason why we play the game. Playing for the love of the game. So the question is, has the NBA as a whole changed for the worse as Lillard has outlined in that interview? Now keep in mind this might be easy for someone like Damian Lillard to say that the NBA has changed for the worse, citing ring culture, fan culture around stats and accolades, and how none of what players do in the regular season matters, this coming from a player who hasn't won a ring, who is a superstar in the NBA but his team is currently struggling to even make the play in the Western Conference, a player that has prided himself on loyalty and never wanting to leave Portland but they can't build a winning team around him, and a player who has never won an MVP or any of the major season awards. So while I think there is a lot of truth to what Dame is saying here, and I'll get into that, it is also possible that some of this sentiment is coming from a guy who is a little frustrated that unlike a lot of his counterparts, he's opted to stay loyal to the team that drafted him, and he knows he's a great player, a superstar player, a member of the top 75 anniversary team, but he doesn't have the same accolades as other superstars in the league. This simply could be coming from a place of frustration of, hey, I'm a superstar, I'm an all-time level talent, but people are more focused on me not winning a ring than what I truly bring to the table as a player because that's all anyone ever cares about these days. I mean, really, if you replace Damian Lillard and Steph Curry, swap them in being drafted to their respective teams and situations, Lillard likely wins championships with Klay Thompson and Draymond Green, and Steph probably doesn't win rings had he been drafted by the Blazers. Obviously, we'll never know that, and maybe that's a hypothetical debate for another video, but the point is, everything is circumstantial. You're a product of your circumstance in the NBA how you came into the league, the franchise or franchises you were a part of, the players around you, and how you as a player impacted the game. So I think it's important to note that this is coming from a player who has chosen to be loyal to the franchise that drafted him, who I think we all can agree truly does play for the love of the game. All of that is commendable, but I don't doubt that some of this is coming from a place of frustration because his team has been pretty underwhelming for the better part of a half decade. But in trying to unpack how the league has changed in recent years, and whether or not this is good for the NBA, there are a few things to call out. One, ring culture. And this narrative that it's championship or bust, I completely agree with that sentiment because we have slowly gotten to this place in the NBA where either you should be a top team contending for a title, and if you're not, you should be losing as many games as possible to tank and try to get a top lottery pick. There is no middle ground of just being competitive and being a fun and exciting team to watch. As fans, that's all we want. We want it to be entertaining. We want to see competition at the highest level. Only one team can win a title out of 30 teams. And it can't be one of these instances where if you don't win a title, nothing else matters. At that point, you should have just tried to lose so you could build through the draft. Everything else that goes with it, the excitement, the drama, the head-to-head matchups should and do matter. 
So that ring culture mentality, both from the players, which is why you have so many players chasing rings than ever before, but that mentality both from the players as well as the fans who have placed so much emphasis on winning a championship or bust. So that's one. Second, three-point shooting. Or I won't say three-point shooting, but NBA offensive systems in general. Obviously, the NBA has completely shifted to a pace and space, high-octane, high-scoring offensive league. While defense is still important, it's certainly not what it used to be even just a decade ago. Some of the best players in the league aren't that great on defense, and some of it is because they just don't try that hard on defense, because why bother? Just conserve and save your energy for offense. That's what's most important. From a three-point shooting aspect of it, sure, there are aspects of heavy volume three-point shooting. Yeah, it's fun and exciting. It makes games hardly ever out of reach, even if you're behind big in a game. As long as you can get hot from behind the arc, you can find a way to win. But at the same time, just seeing teams chuck up threes all day, sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're not, really takes away from the beauty of the game that was much more dynamic even just a decade or two ago, both on offense and defense. And then the other piece I'll say, which Lillard referenced as well on the podcast, loyalty. There is no more loyalty in the NBA anymore. And that really goes for both the players and the franchises themselves because while players have no sense of loyalty and just going to whatever basketball situation suits them best, it's not like teams are showing much in the way of loyalty either and rewarding their players and will trade them at the dime of a hat if it benefits them. While yes, I also get that this is a business and both parties are gonna do what's in their best interest, but unlike what you used to see, where players stayed with their teams for the majority of their careers. They didn't try and team up with other superstars to win a championship. They wanted to beat those superstars to win a championship. Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, you would have never seen them teaming up together. Michael Jordan, Isaiah Thomas, would you ever see them teaming up? Hakeem, David Robinson, a little more recently, you look at guys like Kobe Bryant, Dirk Nowitzki, Tim Duncan, guys who played their entire careers with one team through thick and thin. You just don't see that anymore in the NBA. And yes, Damian Lillard is one of the exceptions to this. Players get disgruntled, they demand trades, they become free agents, they go to wherever they can be paired alongside the most stars. You're never going to see those classic rivalries like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird anymore, or a player having that sense of loyalty to their team where they don't want to leave their team even when times get tough. And then the final piece I'll add as far as the NBA and how it's changed in maybe not the best light, but it's the culture around the NBA that has evolved over time. It's the toxicity that exists amongst fans where you have fans who will cause violence to defend a particular player or team, or even wanting to see a player fail just to prove their point in an argument. It's gotten to the point where people don't even seem to enjoy the game of basketball anymore. Twitter battles, arguments in Discord, Reddit, what have you, have almost taken the fun out of the game. Too much negativity, too much hate going around NBA fandom that it takes away from the love of the game. The negative aspects aside for how the NBA as a league has changed though, there are a lot of aspects that I do believe have changed for the better. The talent pool and overall quality of basketball is at its peak. The level of competition is unmatched to what we've seen in history. The parity in the league has also made the league better rather than just having one or two teams dominate at the top. Like you legitimately have six or seven true title contenders this season in the NBA, or just a few years ago, it was really one or two, maybe three at the most. Parity within the league has changed it for the better. The NBA has become so much more global than it ever has before, with the talented players overseas coming into the league at a rate never seen before and broadening the fan base around the globe. This has made the NBA better. And while yes, player loyalty, team loyalty is a thing of the past and overall that hasn't been good for the NBA, there is also something to be said about the higher degree of player movement. The sheer number of trades, free agency decisions, players are happy, unhappy, locker room issues, the drama of it all is positive for the NBA. The giant male soap opera that is the NBA makes it exciting for the fans. So while I do agree there are aspects and parts of the NBA that have changed the league for the worse, there are a lot of positive changes to the game that have made the league better. And so I don't think it's fair to say that the league and the changes we have seen from it over time are bad for the NBA and then it's becoming worse as a result of it. The positive changes we have seen from the league, in my opinion, outweigh the negatives as the game continues to evolve over time. But let me know what you think. Do you think the NBA has changed for better or for worse? Let me know in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.